Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me for another stream, another Watch Talk Thursday episode. JJ, what do you think? I'm stealing your shtick. Is that okay? Steal the shtick. You <laughs> the up at the top. Give him some due respect. So much due yes, respect. Sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let me let me put that up there. Uh, I just want to do, of course, a quick hello to the panel. We got, of course, the captain joining us out from New York. We got our man, Watch Wizard, Uncle Stefano. We love to have him on. We got the one and only APRX set. I like the pun. That is a pretty good pun. I must Thank admit. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. It's that little bad humor. Good. Right. No, 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 no. I think it's actually a good joke. Come on. And then we got, of course, JJ LeCou. JJ LeCou. The Love one and him. only. The man from Gentleman's Hangout. And, of course, Brian from Beyond Time. I was just got over from his stream, guys. Be sure to check him out. If you haven't already, so let's just go through a bit of the people in the chat. Who do we got? We got Orange Grove. Hello, Orange Grove. I hope you're doing well. We got Juke's head is saying he uploaded. Thank you very much. We got Full On John saying, "Give me that Zenith, but in black." I tend to agree. I do really like that Black Dial Chronomaster Sport, but just don't buy it now. Whatever you do, don't buy it now. Lone Star Watch Collector saying he side voted. That's like being a libertarian, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we got Danger Will Robinson saying multiple voted like Joe Biden. Nice. <laughs> Thank you very much. We got Wings and Watches in the chat saying he upvoted. And man, the weather is getting rough. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. No question about it. No question. Uh, who else do we got in chat? We got Perth Luxury saying he upvoted using all the troll accounts. LOL. Thank you. Rangers fans saying, how about launching? Launching definitely makes the list. No question. No question. We got Andres Borghetti in the chat saying, good evening, gents. Good to see such a great panel. Thank you for joining, Andres. And we got Monkey C Production as well. Thank you for joining us. So, yeah, guys, I wanted to uh, I wanted to do a stream tonight talking about Rolex alternatives. You know, Rolex has gone so hot. I just found out on Brian's stream, a rupee is 30,000 U.S., 30,000 US dollars. What kind of nonsense is that? Yeah, we see a cap. To the moon, you baby. To 30, the moon. You saw one for 35. $30, the moon. A future how about the, classic. How about the, date, the date sub is almost 20 grand now. 20,000 20 for a steel <laughs> submariner. These, they turn these out by the Shit, tens of man. thousands. <laughs> I may I may have to upgrade the bottle that I'm going to give to my AD, man. He, <laughs> Dom, he may get a bottle of Dom Perignon. Should I send flowers to the boutique? Cap. Can I send him like a bouquet? If, if no, these prices no, crash, the only thing you're going to be sending is like Jameson <laughs> whiskey. You know, like <laughs> we'll, record, we'll record this for posterity. You're going to send we'll, him we'll, a bottle of Jack Daniels and we'll say, we'll, "Sorry, we'll, buddy, yeah, this won't this won't age well." <laughs> get on the black <laughs> well. if You send them JD, the Look finest bottle of Andre. Perth Luxuries producer saying, "Just taking notes for the next Perth <laughs> Luxury show." Thank you very much. Sorry, I cut you off, AP. No, nope, you know who's live streaming? Let's move on. That was a What's good up? joke. You know who's ah, live good. streaming against you right it's now? It's all good. We got MM in the chat saying, hey, hey, good guys. All right. So just to give you kind of some, I guess, uh, what I what I, uh, what I I did with the list. So I only focus on three models, which are kind of the three most popular, if you will. So we're talking the Daytona or the Panda Daytona specifically, the GMT, and then the Sub, right? Those are obviously the three most probably iconic and most, you know. Uh, Panda, Panda, Panda. Yeah, I think I think that's those are like the most uh, you know followed watches from Rolex. So I guess we might as well uh, we might as well do it. So starting with the Panda, what are the alternatives? The best alternatives? Zaytona. Ooh, look at this. We got Rooted Rotor in the chat. Thank you for joining. Hope you're doing well, my man. We got Beyond Time with the two dollar super chat saying, "Make sure to up." Thank you very much, Brian. Appreciate that. So we're talking about the Speedmaster Tokyo. Hold on, can we see? Let me. Speedmaster Tokyo. That, yeah, exactly. That's the Captain Subby special. We got the Zenith El Primero, the Chronomaster Sport, the Breitling V01, the Panda Chronograph, the Tudor Black Bay Chronograph, Black Bay Panda, yep. Zenith A384, the Longines Tuxedo Dial Chronograph. I like the Hoyer Otavia uh, Heritage model as well. I think that's a really nice watch. And the CK2998, the Panda. Look at that. SLC saying Zenith or Tudor are pretty solid seconds. I tend to agree. What do we think, think of I, the list? A yeah. lot of good choices here. A lot of good choices. I think the most underrated sneaky choice is the uh, Omega um, CK. I think that's the one. Right. right? The, the CK, uh, what is it? Not, I don't remember the reference number. But. 
<laughs> we got – look at this. Simon Gruber saying – with a $2 <laughs> super chat saying, Simon says – Marco had better start bashing Aventi. No, no, no Aventi bashing. Not tonight. Marco's buying an Aventi ghost. Aventi ghost. Pull up the ghost. That, that's that's not happening. The Mojave ghost. The only ghost <coughs> we're getting is Mojave ghost. Mojave ghost. <laughs> Your friend Mike saying spider monkeys are an alternative to panda. Okay. Uh, Orange Grove. I like the Zenith Revival, but prefer... Yeah, I like the Shadow because it's a no-date. I really... I think they, the A384 would have been so much better if they didn't have that 430 date window. The Seiko Speedmaster is nice, too. That is nice, too. No question. But, I mean, we're, we're focusing on more, like, luxury watches, right? Like, Seiko is definitely a nice watch. It's just it doesn't really make the list, you know? Does that make sense? Any other alternatives out there? I don't know. I think there's another. Eminem said also Laureato Panda, not bad. Yeah, the Laureato. Yeah, that's a good one. Laureato. You know what's another one we actually debated was uh, the Parmigiani Fleurier Tondograph. Tondograph. You ever seen that one? Yep. Bruder Roder saying he likes the Tudor. I tend to agree. The Tudor is really nice. Here, let's see. Let's pull up the GP Laureato. GP Laureato. I think actually this is probably an underrated gem. This is an underrated gem. Just wait a couple yeah. more months. Couple more six more months once the market really sinks. And it's this is actually very nice. I like this one. I tend it to is agree. Nice. I like the blued blued hands and indices. Yep. And I like the tapisserie though. It's a little different. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. But again, yeah. copy. But it's not tapisserie. It's not tapisserie though. You know what it is? It's Clou de Paris. Clou de Paris. It's Clou de Paris, but it looks very similar. Right. The only difference is like a triangle. It's like a pyramid. Yeah. Does that makes sense. The, as has opposed a to point. a square. It meets in a point. Yep. Hundred percent. But it's like not bad. You're right, Michael. It's a very nice looking watch. Yeah. Say that again. <clears throat> no, I said didn't Rolex do a, a dial like that with the pyramids on it? Did they? I don't think so. I think they had there was the honeycomb milgauss. That's the only one I could think of. On the old day dates. On the old day dates. Huh. Let's see. Rolex day date. It's the old thirty six. Pop me out now. Some people say, oh, "What about the uh, Seiko speed timer?" Oh shit! You're oh, right. There it is. Ah, look at he's wow! So look Wait, at he's JJ. Surprised. I'm right. Was JJ it? is flexing his knowledge in the chat. Look at this. I also know what a seven seven five zero is. If you know. <laughs> do you give lessons for less than fifty grand a month? <laughs> <laughs> yes, oh, the Laureata Panda is definitely not. I really like that. It's not bad. I, think, I wish that date wasn't there though at the four thirty. Look at this. Roy Junior is agreeing with me. He's saying the Hoyer Octavia is a great pick. I think honestly, for the price, the Hoyer Octavia. Hey, let's see this Hoyer Octavia. Speaking I think of this 7750. Is a... Look at this. <laughs> Actually, what is in this, Marco? Is it like a modified like 2800 series out of? So tag what? is not. It's uh, LVMH, right? Here, I, oh, I, I, I can look okay. at it. I honestly, I don't know. I'm pretty sure it's LVMH. So it would be, I don't know. Wizard, where's your chart? <laughs> uh, good question. Hold on. I'll it is it LVMH, minute. though. It is. It is. It is. No, it's caliber zero two. I guess it's in house. No. Oh, it is in house. Nice. Yeah, I it's don't an in house like the rice bracelet though. Column wheel chronograph. Nice. I mean, yeah. that's pretty good. Being the rice bracelet is a little corny. I mean, you it's a little to, old. It's too old fashioned. I don't like that. Forty watch. Like, why would you put like a fancy pants? Uh... Right. It's too vintage. That's like way too vintage. It's stuck Wait, in the seventies. What what size is this uh, watch? By the way, the new forty. 40? 40? No, not bad. Probably yeah, look better on the strap. Yeah. That or maybe you could get a different metal bracelet, maybe like um, from like the GMT or something. Ruder Ruder said he likes that. I agree. I agree. Does Tag make a white chrono? Yeah, this is a limited edition version, though. I think this is the Jack Hoyer. Yeah, it's the 85th Jack Hoyer uh, model. These ones are a little more expensive. Um, but if you get the reverse Panda... These are pretty, you know, somewhat cheap. Hold on, where is it? These ones right here. Somewhat cheap. I mean, they're it still expensive. They're a luxury watch, you know? 
I don't really like the bezel on this one as much. Mark I agree. I do. I do tend little, to agree. I think one of the most thing. overlooked is this one. AJ, me and you love this one. Oh yeah, the B zero one. Yeah, I think this is a great watch. watch. You know, people knock the B zero one. I don't understand why they knock it. Doesn't Tudor use the same movement? It's the same movement. Yeah. Right. I so mean, then, why don't they yeah. knock Tudor for using the same movement? What the hell? And Brian has Tudor. better finish. It says Tudor. Tudor. Well, I think it's also, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but the B01 retail is actually at a much higher price. I think the right. idea is Breitling builds in a little bit more room in the price so that if you get like a 15, 20% discount on it, you feel like you're getting a deal, but ultimately you're still paying around the same money as the Tudor. I'd rather wear a Breitling than a Tudor any day. Though. This has way better finishing. I've seen both. Oh, yeah, way better. I think but this is a gorgeous piece. A little bit it's dressy, such a yeah. nice, sporty chronograph, honestly. They should have uh, did this on a nice bracelet. Yep. Yeah. They have a Rolo bracelet for it, the old bullet bracelet that was redone. How about a pet? Oh, they had a bullet bracelet for this? That's yeah, nice. Yeah, they have You showed it before. It's right there. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Right, they do right have there. The Hold on. on the, like the one on their chrono, on their chrono mats. No, yeah. it's a little different. This is the bracelet for it. That's a pilot bracelet or the yeah, stagger. But it comes on no, a No, this is the bracelet. This is the bracelet that comes with it. I'm almost certain this is the one. No, there was one in the other picture there. If you go back, I saw it with the bullet. Yeah, it's there. Oh, that's, no. but that's a different watch, though. That's a different watch. It just watch. has the three. You're talking about the chronomat, right? Yeah. The chronomat? No, the yeah, but go, if you go down a little, there was, there was actually a picture of one. You're yeah. talking about these ones here? Yeah. No, those are That's chronomat. a nice watch, guys. I agree. It's actually very, it's just a little big. That's the only thing. It yeah, wears we big. It's a little big, but this version with the green dial is actually kind of nice, to be honest. I, I don't like the Bentley branding on the green dial one, but it's nice. Yeah, it's like written on the side, right? Yeah, they stamp it on the side. Like, uh, they have little... a plate. Did you see the one on, on, on that particular Corona mat? Yeah, yeah, it looks it, terrible. It's a plate, and it has like... It looks awful. Uh, yeah, like bolts drilled into the side. I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's not a good look. It's like Ursat's luxury. Like they, they don't really. It's like they're trying to fake it. But they. they yeah, that's Cooper Chat it. Marco. Uh yes. Hold on. I missed one also from Danger. He had mentioned one. Danger, you mind if you repost the uh, the watch? I I wanted to pull it up, but I oh Hamilton, Pan Pan yeah, Pan I got it pulled up on the screen. Hamilton Pan Europe. I will definitely pull that up. Uh, Toyota Mo with a five dollar super chat. Thank you for joining us, Mo. He's saying good evening all. Some of these watches are cool, but will it scratch that panda itch? No. Hmm. That good is a question. good question. No, uh, the whole part of the panda itch is that it's so exclusive and hard to get. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, it's just a cool alternative. Ooh, danger! I'm sorry. I hate these. <laughs> I don't like this at all. <laughs> oh, sorry. No. Remind me of a Vostok. You know what it reminds me of? That square case is like a Seiko turtle. Yeah, mm -hmm. the turtle. Yeah. It's like the, the turtle RX. case, the Seiko turtle case. Yeah, that's that. I don't love oh, the, no, that no. shape. I just want to pull this up. The Hamilton the American Prospect. Classic is also another one. I'm going to pull that one up. Uh, Archibald Shakespeare the Third with a five dollars super chat. Thank you very much. Saying tis easy to see you don't. John Tudor is super what. Wow. Learn how to spell. Oh, dude. I think tis easy He's superior. To superior. Tutor, superior to tag. Nice. Okay. That is, that is an interesting one. Thank you very much for the super chat. It is easy to see. Beyond tutor is surprised. I don't know. Superior. To superior. Tag. What's yond? What's yond? Yond is throwing me off. To see yond. To see. Yeah, to see okay. over. Okay. To see yond. Tudor. To see beyond Tudor? Yes. Tudor. This has a Valjury 7750, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. This is a Valjury 7750. And look at the price. Cheap. 2700 without discount. Right. We got Simon Gruber joining us again with the $2 Super Chat saying, Simon says, what has four legs and is always willing to travel? A spider monkey. <laughs> oh, I have goodness. no, I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, these are the new ones, uh, AP. These are actually – I like this one out of all the, the ones that they released. This yeah, so these are, these are interesting because, I mean, I haven't seen one of these in person, but even from the photos, like, these actually look pretty nice. I know 6,300 is steep for a Tag Heuer, but, like, you right. have to assume that 
you know, you'd be able to pick it up for <clears throat> some kind of discount later on. And this actually looks like a pretty nice watch, all things considered. An elephant, because it has four legs and a trunk. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Okay, MM is throwing a curveball saying a ball engineer hydrocarbon. Let's pull it up. I'm not really a fan of ball. I got to be totally honest with you, but, you know, let's pull it up. Let's see. I'm open to... to... I like ball. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't think this is the watch I'm supposed to be uh, supposed to be pulling up. Is it? Mm, that doesn't look like it. I mean, he's no. talking about a chrono. It's a this diver's ring. Yeah, diver. like carbon, hydrocarbon. This is like a pl <laughs> like a plo prop or something. There it oh, is. Oh, we're talking about oh, okay. Probably this right here. Mm. Are we talking about ball? Ball? Uh, I don't Sorry. like that crown guard, man. Sorry. Sorry. No, it's crazy. Nope. Ooh. No, no, no. I like that they do it at 12, but I don't like the what, crown what, guard. Yeah. What were they thinking in that design room? Like, oh, yeah, we nailed it with this crown guard. Look they had one of your dummies, Captain. You know what? Yeah, Monkey C production actually brings up a good one. So there's the Mont Blanc Mono Pusher, but those are expensive, aren't they? I'm pretty sure the ones that a use bit. the Minerva. Yeah, the ones that use the Minerva movement, I'm pretty sure are super expensive. Um, unless I'm thinking of a different one. That last watch was a Monkey C, Monkey Don't. <laughs> uh, but you know what is nice? The Mont Blanc Reusec. I don't know how to spell it. It's this. Yeah, these ones right here. This is a chronograph right here. It's actually pretty nice. Um, by Mont Blanc. Cool. That, that's this more avant garde. Cool. It's, it's cool. Yeah, way different than obviously the uh, the Clone Wars that we were just having there. <laughs> clone Wars. <laughs> really, really, really nice. Actually. I got a million of them. This is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, this is very pretty. Yeah, but when Moses streamline, you're talking fifty grand versus a ten thousand dollar watch or fifteen thousand dollar watch. That's huge. This would pair well with your pens, Marco. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're not wrong. The primate gentleman saying, "I will travel to you, Marco." Thank you very much. Perth luxury saying, "Lieutenant John McLean will be in the chat soon." Okay. That Archibald Shakespeare the third. Can one beast consider a timepiece enthusiast if tis? Be true, one can't recognize it. The 7750. Oh. You know what? I'm enjoying you know, it. Everybody remember like when Al Bundy used to try to speak uh, proper. Do you remember that? Yeah, oh, yeah. yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's funny. <laughs> oh, boy. But yeah, the launching, I like too. I really like this launching right here. Yeah, um, very nice. The Zenith, the only problem is no, this I bracelet. Hate that watch. The bracelet is horrendous. It is the, so the, bad. And the case is yeah, so but that case, Mark. I mean, uh, no, the case is nice. Come on, it's, uh, it's ugly. Nineteen seventies. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that's the thing, right? But uh, we we also don't wear jackets anymore with seven inch lapels. Some things need to stay in the seventies. <laughs> you, you know what would be fun? Hey, speak for yourself. Or fifteen inch <laughs> bell bottom <laughs> pants. We should start. I don't think you can do it on the screen, Marco. But you start eliminating one by one, like you keep yeah, the Daytona, cool. and you can you do an X out of some of it, like oh, as, yeah, as we'll have like a, you can, you can do like can, brackets, because you otherwise, can have yeah, 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 let's do brackets on it. I can yeah. because otherwise you'll see like my other, like the All other right, right. Uh, list. No you know what I mean? No problem. But you know what? I gotta give a shout out to so somebody pulled up the JLC Master Control. It's nice, but it's not a Panda Chronograph. That's the problem. It's a sector dial That's Chronograph. Amigo. I mean, look at this. I don't know who has this one. I forget. There's somebody, um, you know, somebody that someone Tokyo? pretty cool and famous. Yeah, Tokyo, Maybe right? this should this should be going up in value tremendously. I mean, it should be going up crazy. It won't because it, it never the Olympics never happened. That's why. <laughs> well, that's doesn't why, that make it cool and unique? That's why. And it, that's kind of where it, that's the thought process behind it is that that what will make it go up. Uh, um, down, so. down, down the road because it was the, the Olympics did happen, but they happened in 2021. Can you pull up I the think it would be right. I actually think it would be better if it didn't happen. I bought this watch before that decision was made, um, and I know JJ, you A had lot the of other one. Don't like that. I don't like that because it digs into your. Say it must dig in the back of your wrist. Hand. Yeah, it does. I read about that before I bought it though, because there was some article and some guy had it and. Oh look! It's hard. To, it's hard to read the time. Orange Grove actually has taste in the chat. Look at this. He says the case is cool on Zenit. See, I totally agree with him. <laughs> He's actually pretty smart. Look at that. <laughs> Just kidding. Wow. 
So look, they're individually numbered on the back. They, they did make a lot of them. I can't. It's hard to say limited. But they are limited. Yeah. There's 2070 <clears throat> technically because they made yep, 50 piece 50. limited edition in a full set. Yeah, and right, then 2020. Right. Yeah. Those full sets have gone down. I googled that one. I googled it. <laughs> I got Are different answers. I get different answers on that one all the time. You know, it's 2020. <laughs> Look at them, boys. Omega, Omega sucked out another 50 pieces by doing that 50 sets of full sets, awesome. and then 2020. Uh, That's a great watch too. The Roadster. All Are right. you kidding? You like this? It's a I nice like watch. You put it on Chronos. your head, then you'll see the weight behind it. But the Chrono is not that nice. I like the regular version. I don't mind the regular version, but the Chrono is in. Nipple. When I see this watch, I hear the Sopranos theme song. Just saying. <laughs> oh yeah, my! I can picture Christopher ripping a line. Yeah, all the way Christopher. Around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what? With like a black leather jacket on in this watch. Okay, wherefore would one buyeth a Zenith? At which hour those gents could buyeth a Rolex? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Wherefore wouldst? Um, oh, you know what's another one from, from Omega? 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 Is the CK2998. I love the 2998. Me. This Panda. Yeah, I just wish it came on a bracelet. You can buy an aftermarket bracelet. It's not I wonder if you can use the 3861 bracelet on that. That would be You could cool. probably buy an Omega oh, bracelet nice. for that. No, you can't. <clears throat> no, you can't. Yeah. yeah. Have it modified. Oh, there's yeah. there's like some kind of like Uncle Seiko or so, something like that. There's like this uh, brand that makes it that the it fits, and you just have to buy Omega N Links. Um, you know what I'm wondering actually? So they came out with the the Omega uh, CK two nine one five re edition. You should get a red strap for this, Marco. Like, uh, what's his name? I wonder That's if you can buy this bracelet because they came out with this. It's the same case, right? I wonder if you could yeah. just buy this bracelet. Sure. Pretty sure that's what Stefano just said. No, but I don't know. I don't think you can get it. That's the problem. I don't think you, you can. can. You can get it. And that's the same as the, the three as the Ed White too, right? It's the trilogy, Rish. I think it's a little different. I think it is a little oh, different. The bracelet. Oh, it, it looks probably. It weird. might be a little different, JJ, but don't quote me on that. But you can modify the bracelet and the end caps to make it fit. Oh, we got Ari G. Hello, Ari. Thanks for joining us. How's it going? All as well. Ari, I think your mic is out of your computer. Just double check. Second. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Never mind. Good. Yeah, it was just a little thing. Um, but yeah, Panda Dial Chronos are a little difficult. I think beyond that, there's not much else. Obviously, the Chrono Master Sport, we didn't even touch it yet. Now, let me ask you guys. I got. We got to get a de definitive answer. Does it replicate the... Daytona. Does it replicate the Rolex Daytona too much? It gets close. It doesn't, it's not exactly. The, the Tona, first of all, the sub dials are way smaller. and These are multicolored. So how do you relate to it? Right. So it's pump pushers. There's no crown guards. Right. It's tricolored sub dials. Right. The yep. bezel is different. Mark, the graduation yeah. of the yeah. bezel is different. Mm -hmm. The bracelet yeah. is similar. But, I mean, what are we talking? We're talking a ceramic bracelet or a ceramic bezel and a bracelet are similar and a white yeah. dial. I mean, I, I don't know that Rolex owns the patents or like the intellectual property for a ceramic no, they bezel don't. white well, dial. Well, they don't know. They wouldn't have made this, but it is. It does remind you of like what? It, right. It, 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 listen. Inspirations there. Well, but JJ, I mean, isn't imitation the greatest form of flattery? That's what they say. Oh, I'm just saying. It's it's almost like when we look at like the the GPS and stuff and say, oh, it looks like a Royal Oak. You know, it doesn't. It's actually very. You know, has way different. Right. Features. It's got a date too. Plus, it's got the date, right? So that's yeah. different. SLC says it reminds him of the Tudor. Really? What reminds you of the Tudor? I, I don't think this reminds me of the Tudor I, I, at all. I, 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 I only two reg. It, it does a little bit. I, I don't think he's completely which, wrong which there. Tudor? The uh, the, the reverse panda, I think, right? Pull that Tudor. You know, it's. I just don't think don't this think is a, a very nice like watch, to be honest. That's really my thing. I just don't like all the. There's too much going on for me. I don't the know. the black one is much nicer, JJ. I'm being honest with you, hundred percent. The black one I like. There. I don't think this doesn't remind me like like that of this at all. No way. Yeah. This reminds me more than the Daytona the Daytona. pushers. Yeah. Because it's got the screw down pushers, right? Yeah. But it has no crown guards to be no. fair. And it's too much. And it's I not a ceramic I like, bezel. I like this in black better too. I've tried I had both in my hand at the same time. Got the rivet bracelet. 
but it's big and thick. It's it's girthy and it's big. It's chunky monkey. Yeah, it is. I think the rivets on that are fake too. They're not. They're not. Yeah, really they are. They're not yeah, that's not a big deal though. That's not it's uh, it's not as thick as the GMT though, or the Black Bay. Mm. Yeah, which is good, but still. Oh, thick. Though. Yeah, it's still thick. She's the, the thing about the She's Zenith, thick. like even though they have the one model that kind of sort of looks like a Daytona. They have 20 other variants of the El Primero that don't. So it's like if yes, you're right. just trying to get into a Chronomaster line and you don't want something that rings too similar to a Daytona, you can get that if you wanted. I know yeah. the topics Panda and all that, but like if you wanted to be separate from the crowd, you could do that. Right. Well, that's kind of what I'm saying. Like if I was going to get a Zenith, I would get like an El Primero, like the Open Heart or something like that, you know, something that is its own iconic look. Like something distinctive on its own. Or something it's yeah something it's known for exactly not like something that looks similar to a different watch right i mean yeah there's enough watches out there that are uh homages to the uh prx anyways so oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. there's the prx the prx 15 500 <laughs> exactly all right well i think we broke a significant amount of ground sorry i cut you off ap i i i was picking back on the joke to be honest <laughs> okay <laughs> I think we covered a lot of ground on the Daytona. I mean, it's 30 minutes on Daytona. There's a lot of alternatives out there. I think that's what it says. Hmm. Oh, you have more of these? No, that's it. I think it's time we move <coughs> on to the next one. On to the next. Uh, yeah, that's uh, what let me stop. You have more. more uh... Here we go. The Submariner. Ooh. There's a lot for the Ooh. Submariner. Ooh. There that's it a is, hard guys. category. That's a, that's a hard that. category. That's a hard category. How do you put a brigade? How do you just, put just, a brigade in this category? Just I mean, just, reggae marine. I mean, listen. If no. the, the only problem are those. That lungs. was our friend uh, APRX uh, right. inspired inspired by inspired by APRX. Not look anything like a sub, man. Not even close. No, but it's not just the look of it. It's the it's alternate best alternative. It, yeah, it's the best alternative because the Luminor doesn't either. So that the yeah. whole the, the idea behind the. Category. It's a lot more sportier. Of... Brigade to me, that one looks like you just took a classical watch and stuck a rubber band on it, to be quite honest. So you're saying <laughs> you wouldn't buy it? Never. <laughs> Look at this. Is that uh, what Lieutenant I'm hearing? I'm leaving. John McLean <laughs> with all the shit <laughs> Saying, nice try, Hans. I'm still here with a bad hangover. Nice, man. I'm glad you're going to take him down in the best, one of the best heist movies of all time. Merry Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> and a happy new year. There you go. There you go. Thank you. So what do we have? So from left to right, I really like that new Heritage 300. I think it's just a little big on me personally, but it's a great watch. Really nice. Really, really nice. Tudor Black Bay, obviously, that's got to make the list. Absolutely. Breitling Super Ocean Heritage, I think that's a somewhat obvious choice. Mm -hmm. uh, Cap said, I got to put a Luminor in there because it's iconic diver. And I tend to agree. You know what I mean? I do tend to agree. Yeah, so I have a question about the Omega Seamaster for a second here. Ooh, there are many incarnations to the Seamaster. Like, do, is yeah, there one Seamaster that's... Professional, Seamaster yeah. Aquaterra? Yeah, there's a, there's a ton, right? Yeah, I, I'm 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 stating the obvious. I know, but I'm just I'm just curious. Is there a um, is there one that perhaps is a better alternative than others? Mm, I mean, I like this one, uh, but you can go for the Seamaster 300. Uh, obviously, the, the just the regular one with the H Link style bracelet. And the wave dial, you can get an Aqua Terra too. I just don't think the Aqua Terra is a really good alternative for the sub. It's I think it's closer probably to I don't know like an Oyster Perpetual, if you will, or Datejust. Right. Yeah, or Datejust. Yeah, something like that. Um, but yeah, just real quick, we got Archibald Shakespeare the Third with a five dollars super chat. Like, I love these much. accounts. Saying yeah. the Steinhardt is the most wondrous alternative to the Submariner. I think I just <laughs> caught on to who this is now. <laughs> I think it starts with an O and ends with Mar. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the super chat, man. I appreciate it. Well, I actually have no idea. No idea who this. But you, you know who bought that uh, Grand Seiko now, right? Who's this? Pigsy Pugsley or whatever you call him. Uh, <laughs> what's his uh, name? There. We got also the Blancpain, Fifty Fathoms. I think that's got to be in the list. The original dive watch, no? The OG yeah, yeah, dive it's... watch. Then we have the CQ, the JLC Polaris Mariner, which I think is an underrated watch, but it's hard to find, actually. It's not that easy to find. At least on the gray market, it isn't. And then we've got a Grand Seiko and a Marine. If, if you had to pick one of these to replace your your, your uh, Submariner, oh, my we goodness. should all go around and pick one. 
So, right. so, so not trolling. Oh, right. oh, sorry. Go ahead, Ari. Uh, not trolling. I'm just wondering that the Pam, why why is that on this list in the well, same it's way? Diver? It's, it's a diver. It's a diver. Yeah. 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 It's a luminar marina. Look at this. See, Orange Grove is green. Pat Mariner is really hard to find. You're right. Lone Star saying Tudor is the best sub replacement. Well, let's go to oh Tudor Subby. Tudor Subby or Captain Tudor. Captain Tudor. Cap. You know, I would say, I'll Which tell you right now, it wouldn't be the Tudor. The, the Tudor, it, it's a nice watch. <clears throat> the price point, like comparing, trying to compare apples to apples. I think if I had to pick a two and a second and third prize, I'm going to take the Blanc Pan. I'll take a 50 Fathoms. Uh um, don't forget and, you have to pay for you have to pay the price for it. it takes, so that takes that into consideration. Like huh. that's alternative to the Rolex. Like what else would you buy if you weren't buying the sub? Right. The Blanc Pond. Okay. I'll stick to that. Or your, and on a different go? price point, I'll take the Luminor. I, I think that's a beautiful watch. Okay. Wizard? Unry all the way. Okay, okay. J J Lacou. Uh, I take the Tudor. It reminds me of the Tudor Submariner Classic one. Okay, okay. AP? I think everybody knows my opinion here. I fucking love that Breguet Marine, man. I mean, <laughs> I, I, I like, I, the thing is, it's a weird looking watch, but that's why I like it, is because it's so unique in a lot of respects. Yeah, the lugs are weird, and yeah, it's weird to have a Breguet on a rubber strap, but you still get a lot of the hallmarks of the brand for a price point that isn't eye watering. That's you know, why I like that piece. It's also what, probably one of the best values on the market. AP. I mean, you get a big day complication, a full guilloche dial, the finish, like a full guilloche gold rotor, uh, hand finishing of the movement, and it's all like under basically 10 grand, roughly. I oh, haven't followed the price, e but I'm assuming easily. it's under 10 grand. Easily. Like the, the, I, I mean, Steph can correct me on this, but I'm pretty sure these are like eight to 9,000 used. Right. Like they're, they're, yeah, they're not that expensive. New. Yeah. The only problem, in my opinion, are those fucking lugs. Oh, sorry, the the goddamn lugs. The lugs are so long. It's like it's a thirty eight millimeter or thirty nine millimeter watch, and the lug to lug is fifty one millimeters. It's asinine, as a ten, as eleven. Like it makes no sense. I agree. I agree. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, it's one of those odd things. I think that makes the watch in a weird way. But just my opinion. Yeah, crazy. And Ari, last but certainly not least, Ari. Uh the Bright Link Super Ocean. Okay, respectable. I think if I had to choose one, I'm between honestly the Seamaster Heritage in blue or the JLC Polaris Mariner. I think I'm between those two, to be honest with you. I'd probably go with the JLC. I like it, it's really unique. So, I have a, just a general question. I was having a bit of a discussion with Lone Star in the chat here. So, and again, I'm just, I don't appreciate PAMs. I'm not saying they're bad, I just don't, I don't appreciate them. Right. What makes that PAM? so iconic and i'm asking a serious question as yeah, a diver no, like because sure, it, sure. it doesn't look and feel like any of the other ones okay. really so i gotta i gotta take you all the way back right so original pams right where mm -hmm. cased up rolex pocket watches so they would take pocket watch movements from rolex uh they would take the cases also and then they would solder on lugs lugs onto right. the actual watch that's how, that's why you see like here if i put myself full screen if you see the lugs on my PAM, mm -hmm. these are what are called wire lugs. Wire because what lugs. it was is yep. they literally took a Rolex pocket watch. They changed the dial, put radium loom, uh, which is very cancerous, by the way. You, they don't do that anymore. But that's why it's called <coughs> radium here. And then mm -hmm. they soldered on lugs so they could fit a strap onto it. right? And so because of that, I guess PAM always became – or Pam got a cult following because of that connection to Rolex. Right. And then after that, they came out with the Luminor, which has the crown guard, uh, which got a huge cult following, mostly because of, let's be honest, Sylvester Stallone wore it in daylight. Mm -hmm. um, from there, you know, Pam kind of exploded. Everybody wanted a Panerai. Uh, yeah. He kind of really put Pam on the map. Him and Arnold probably are arguably the two that put Pam on the map. So why are they an iconic diver? I mean, they were used by a bunch of, you know, especially the Italian military. Right. Um, so my my model is called the Black Seal. That's like the Navy Seals for for the Italian military. So yes. yeah, okay. That, that's how that's how they kind of became iconic, if you will. Um, okay. And, and yeah, it's just a, it's, it's totally unique kind of diver, if you will. Fair I enough. I appreciate the answer. Perfect. Sure. Uh, 
Let me see. We got Rooted Rotor saying the Black Bay 58 is so versatile. Strap, NATO bracelet looks good in all of them. 39 mil is a sweet spot for many wrists too. Yeah, for sure. No question. Perth saying no mention of the Seamaster Professional 300. I, yeah, I mean, it's a great it. watch, but I think that's an obvious. It's the most obvious choice, let's be mm-hmm. honest. Yeah. Yeah. You have one in the flesh right there. Mm-hmm. Look at this. <coughs> I think this is gorgeous. Completely gorgeous. I've never seen one of these at a retailer uh, ever. You know what? I've never seen it either. They are impossible to find on the secondary and impossible to find, uh, what's it called, at retail. Extre- I don't understand why. These are super nice in my opinion. I don't get why they're so hard to, to find. Yeah, it just doesn't really make sense to be honest with you. Um, Maybe people are holding on to them. Is this the one that one? Ali was trying to find? Mark? Yes. Not yeah. this one though. He wanted the three crown one. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I think he wanted this one right here. The three crown yeah. one is an alarm or? Yeah, I think there is an alarm, which is okay. just, it's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, that was available by your neighborhood, Marco, at Burke's. Really? Before Christmas, that exact one with the three. With the three. Interesting. I didn't know that. I mean, this is obviously most people's choice, right? The Seamaster Professional. It makes sense. Hey, Marco, how about a tag Aqua Racer now? Aqua Racer is a good choice. Yep. Tag wear Aqua Racer for sure. They just recently revamped that five. line, didn't they? I don't know. That's a good question. Bless you. Or it's a good they thing. recently redid Oh, yes, that. it's true. This this one right here, right? Yes, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't like this. I like and the they have the Batman or the Bruce Wayne or whatever you want to call it, too. But that's the They're GMT, poppy. yeah. Um, Further down. Right there, the black. In black. The black yeah. is nice. It's nice. But I prefer the old version. The old version is much nicer. There it is. There's the Batman. Yeah. Uh, one second. That'll come up soon, actually. That'll come up soon. I hate to reference this handle, but Anthony Spider Monkey ma- makes a great point in terms of the Oris brand. I would think, like, if you're looking at tag Coyer pricing, I think Oris is a really strong contender in that as well. Yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. Not a fan of the new Aqua. Yeah, I tend to agree. Oris sixty five. I don't like the sixty five. Is Oris sixty five the one JJ has? Yeah, I think no. so. Yeah, yes. no, 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 I'm not a fan. Yes. Oh, no, the oh, oh, is the Aquas. I, I had the 65. I like that's a really nice watch, but it's, like a, it's a totally different price point, though. This is the one he that's had, a, no? It's it's worst yeah, that's the one different. I had. I had that as well. Yeah, Great watch. I, I really loved it. The Aquas. Absolutely loved it, but I couldn't compare I think this it to is myself. Ugly. It's fugly. <laughs> it's got the retro dial. Aquas. Aquas, I think, is much better. Yeah. It's Wait, that watch. I have to tell you guys, oh, that watch got comp. That watch got put that oh, high compliment factor on that watch. So you guys are uh, about the dial. <laughs> suspect. The dial. Cap, well, they're a little sus. sus. They're a little sus. You suspect. The blue sunburst dial is beautiful. That's nice. That's that's. Yeah, I think this really is gorgeous. Nice. Absolutely. I'm actually since I bought the Aquas, I'm going to sell that other that one blue one in the middle. On it. Right, that. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah, but these are expensive. These are like limited edition, and this in-house movement too. This would be like that's the thing. Like I'd rather get an Edo one because you just get it serviced yeah. by a local watchmaker, much cheaper. And it's much but, cheaper, yeah, purchase price. Yeah. So they're my actually, son has a big day date Oris diver. <laughs> Lone Star. Don't bore us with Oris. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Uh, Oris Bradley does a lot Super though. You know. Yeah, hundred percent. Breitling Super Ocean Heritage. That's a great pick. There's a ton of Breitling actually has a number of. Um, like even just the regular Super Ocean, I think this had one, right? Uh, this one right here, this had this model. Yeah, I like that yeah. more than the Heritage. Yeah, these are really nice. Super underrated too, in my opinion. Super underrated. Um, Super underrated. There's another one. This like one right here. Make one it's like a huge titanium model too. It's huge. What about yeah. this one? You guys I, like this one? Has anyone here ever tried this one on? Never. Which one? This uh, the bright uh, heritage, the limited. Yeah, edition. I've seen it live. Yeah. I didn't put it on my wrist; it was too small. But yeah, yeah I, I saw I it in person. So thin, got funky colors. It's wicked thin. It, you know what? It, it looks great. It was just, you know, it's weird. It's just weird yeah. in person. I don't know how. I just don't like the way it curves up like a dinner plate. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. exactly what like it a, is. That's the like problem. A soup bowl. It looks like a soup bowl. 
Yeah, I've tried this one on. I'm about to eat ramen off my wrist. I don't know. <laughs> it looks kind of weird. I'm sorry. That's a, that's a little harsh. Ooh, SLC just said I own that. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> owned. At least he's smart SLC enough to get says, rid of it. Kids are pissed. I sold it, Dan. I actually, if you go on my Instagram, I have a picture wearing um, that bright, that uh, bright one. Let me see. I'll try and find it. One it's on an orange strap. Any other suggestions? Any other suggestions? What about the CQ? Nobody has any love for the CQ. I heard everybody who buys one of those like loves it. Either I that thought they resold sold it. I thought they hated it. Well, you better for, for sticker price. Those things are Yeah, I mean, they're expensive. not cheap. <laughs> 116500 LN, $49,000, boys. Jesus. You what do you think, JJ? Tell me. Talk I mean, me. it's plain. I don't like where the date is. I wish they would have just stuck it at 6 o'clock and got rid of the 6. Put a big date down in the 6 o'clock. Yeah, I don't love it. I don't know, man. I don't the love Arabic it. numerals, every other number. 12, I've seen two. the reviews of them. They're not badly built. I just don't like. I don't like it. I don't know. There's just something about it I don't like, and I can't explain it, which is very strange. Usually, I can. I get. <laughs> I don't think anybody would me. argue the build quality of these things, but it's just yeah, it's the, the look is very plain for the amount of money that you're going to spend on this thing. Right. And some people don't want that. But I guess that's kind of what makes the sub great, right? It's like uh, timeless and iconic because it's so boring, I guess. Right? Yeah. I don't I look mean, at it as boring, though. Like, I look at it no, as... No, it's pretty boring. It is boring. It, it's functional. I just, Rolex is allowed to do this. Not... not, not I, don't know what, I don't know what it's trying to accomplish is what I'm saying. Like, with those numbers and then they're, that they're big... Legibility. You, Legibility. You, you, you contrast that to the bezel. It You know, the numbers on the bezel... Of, it just, it just looks a little bit off. Ooh, I don't know. I've been. I'm going terrible. at the dinner plate. The dinner this plate. This is absolutely terrible. And the band is even worse. That's a, I, I think the band. red band is really nice. Great yeah. to the seventies. Orange. What, orange. what did Kevin we cover? Has oh, the Pam. The yeah, the Pam. What do we think about the Luminor? Pam Luminor. Yeah. Versus Radio Mirror. What are we taking? I like both. Radio Mirror 1940 case. Yep. I don't like the wire lugs. That's why I like that. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. No <laughs> respect for heritage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, oh that, that, that respect went out the window the moment the stream went live, Marco. You know that. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy. The pants uh, are nice if you have a big enough wrist to rock them. I mean, if you, you got it, like baby. I, yeah, That's I mean, good. like, because sometimes, and the really big ones too, because I know the submersibles, they'll go out to like 47 or whatever. I mean, you just got to have a big wrist to really kind of fill it in. But if you do, good look and watch. I think the 42 millimeters are the sweet spot. Like, mm -hmm. they actually knocked it out of the park, like with this blue one. And then there's the one that I had up on the this one right here. I think these are really nice. That's nice. Still, they're still like very big, but it is a pan rod. You know, it's meant to wear big, in my opinion. Uh, yeah. Anthony Spider Monkey says the Glashuta was hideous. Nice. Hobby Bobby, the font on dial Fair and point. bezel of the Glashuta don't match. Yep. That's the issue. Oh, yes. Juan O says, I'm taking a submersible. You know what? There's one submersible. I think it's also 42 mil. The one that Mossy has. JJ, you remember the, the reference? I forget. It's this one right here. 683. 683. I think, I think this looks fantastic. So I, I like this, by the way. This I is nice. I think this is one of the best from Pam. I don't like the strap, like that rubber. It's strap. forty-two mil, right? Forty-two. Yep, forty-two. Much more wearable. Yeah, the strap is kind of mad. You're right, but the just yeah, the you could get so many straps for this though. It doesn't right. even matter. Yeah, Lone Star watch collector. Is that twenty-two? $2 mil, right, twenty-two lugs, lug to lug, uh, lug width. I mean, I'm not depends sure. on the model. I think it's twenty-twos, and then it goes up to twenty-four for the bigger ones. Yeah, not hundred percent mm -hmm. sure. That's Lone not Star. the car. Is that the carbo? That's not the carbo tech, is it? No, no, it's not. No, no. real quick, just real quick. Like Lone Star watch it. enthusiast with a two dollars super chat saying, "Wizard and I are Italian." What the hell, man? I'm Italian too. Thanks, man. So we must love Pam. What's that? Wizard Greek? Isn't he Greek technically? Della Costa. He's more Greek than it Italian. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Lone Star says it's a twenty-two twenty-four. What about the? Uh, I could pull it up one second. Let me look this up. How much do you think you can get this Panerai for? That is a good question. You told me an Excel. Retail is what eighty nine on that. Pan, now we're in. So. 
Ooh. Deep what cuts. What are we doing up? What is this? What is this? Is it Steinhardt? What is this? $647. No, that's no, no. A that's a different <laughs> segment. No, Invicta, no, no. Invicta territory. It's a Mariner Sorry, homage. Man. Sorry, Rangers fan. Oh, it comes with a Velcro strap. Okay. Let's Calvin would have a few. Calvin would have a few of those. <laughs> yeah, Calvin has probably six of them. Ooh, 11,000. What's the – hold on. I need to figure out 683. Retail, I think you asked on this, is 89, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure. Mm. I like the white dial on the submersible. These are not – these are pretty yeah, nice. expensive, to be honest. These hold value. It looks like these kind of hold value. They hold value in this market, Marco. Right. Like, keep yeah, bear in mind, market, like, right. these Everything's things a couple years ago market. were much cheaper than they are yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, right. What else? What can we think of? Oh, what about the the uh, Blanc Pen Fifty Fathoms? We got to bring up the Blanc Pen Fifty Fathoms. We got to have a discussion about how Blanc Pen fight up the Fifty Fathoms because they always do a limited release of the best watches, aka this one right here. I love that one, oh. and the Barracuda is nice too. No rad. I like the no rad. The no rad is my favorite. Yeah. They're all my favorite. And then the no red. Didn't they make a forty-two no red? This is forty. They made a forty and a 40. forty-five. Yeah, but I think cars are saying don't get the forty. That'd be yeah, the, the, but it doesn't make sense. I, I, I like the forty because it just fits better. Yeah. Forty-five sounds really big. It is. It's yeah, huge. I guess because that's original dimensions, right? Right. Uh, Perth Luxury with a two dollars super chat saying, "Just ask Chris Essery. He's full of shock." Yeah, I, I wonder what he's doing nowadays. Honestly. You know who was that is, house right? of horology? Yeah, that's horology house. Yeah, whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The guy who sold those fake Daytonas. This is like the oh, biggest yeah. scandal of like 2018 or something like that. 2017. I was actually, I think it was 2020 is when it broke. Like very early 2020, before pandemic. What? Are you kidding? No, um, February of 20, I thought is when that whole thing broke. Are you kidding? Jesus Christ! I feel so old now. I, I thought that was like, <laughs> I thought that was like way long ago. I know. It's crazy. It was two years ago now. Huh. Well, let me pull this up one second. 10K for the submersible. Jesus. It's 10,000 retail? And these what things get expensive quick, too. Like, And this has their in-house movement, so they're going to definitely yeah. fight you on the service price, probably. Not good. Not. Oh, I like that strap. This one right here. Oh, this I like actually. The, I really the like good strap. one, the blue strap with the yeah, blue nice. in there. <clears throat> so right now on Luxury Bazaar for eighteen thousand seven hundred, full set. Eighteen thousand seven hundred. Yeah, it's on uh, Facebook on Gray Market. You're right. It was. Oh my God! It was early twenty twenty. Jesus Christ! I feel. How is it so? Not that long ago. I feel like. I know. It's, I don't understand. <laughs> it's just been in like a, a vacuum of time. I oh, mean, and the crazy. Grand Seiko Diver. Let's pull up the last one. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. I thought it was like way long ago. So much has happened in between. My goodness. My goodness. What do we think, boys? Too close to the sub? I think it's ugly. It's ugly. I agree. It's big, too. It's like 46 millimeters, I think. This would be a perfect for Stefano. <laughs> <laughs> this would actually watch. fit well. This would actually fit your wrist well. Yeah, big watch. This is. Big. But I don't like Grand Seiko. Yeah, true. We got Toyomo saying, "I like that Pam." I tend to agree. That is one of the nicer Panerai models. No I agree. Much. I I'm a bit picky with Pam, and I like that. Uh, what else? What else? You know, that's pretty much it. That is pretty. Much, there's not that that many other divers that are real good, solid competitors to the sub. I think we kind of hit all the. All the best ones, to be honest with you. Maybe the Tudor Pelagos. The Tudor Pelagos. Mm. Yeah, nice. What else? That's oh, what that's people good. tout as being a, a, a close alternative there, but in function it, more than style, though. Yeah, yeah pull, up, pull up, pull up. You want to pull up the Pelagos? I think it's worthy of, yeah. a, of a pull up. Yeah. Oh, you can also talk about the new, obviously the FXD. FXD. But there's no bracelet. That's the only problem. Yeah, I can't. And I despise. I really hate NATO straps. I'm sorry. I it's tried titanium. to get into NATO straps. It's titanium, though. That that yeah. thing would be light as a feather. 
Yeah, but you know what's great? So the bracelet on this, I don't understand why they don't use this bracelet or the clasp, rather, the clasp for all of their watches. It's amazing clasp. Look at this. It's a spring-loaded clasp, right? Jeez. So if you if you actually stretch out your wrist, the clasp, or sorry, the, the bracelet expands with your wrist. That's awesome. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's probably yeah. the best. It's the best clasp. Well, or the best, as you're like, going like this, it's because you don't need to push adjust or, or you know, like Rolex, you have to like push it up and pull it off, take it off your wrist. Uh, the Omega one, you don't have to take your your what's it called your wrist or the watch off your wrist. You could just do it while it's still on your wrist. But this, you literally just adjust on the fly because it ex the clasp expands as your wrist expands. How do you feel about paying twenty two thousand for that tribute uh, to Fifty Fathoms? No red. I think that's absolutely bananas. Bananas. How about the Zin U fifty? Uh, uh, see, me and the cab were talking, right? Because of the Zin is is. I mean, it's nice. It's uh, it's not nice. Sorry, I don't like the design at all. But it's it's very good. I mean, it's a very purpose built watch. I hate this one. I think it's super ugly. I'm sorry. I just get the Zin 104. Yeah, get the, the Zin 104 is the only one I would get. It's the only one I like. Because it's clean. It's not like... Uh... Right. It's just too, like, I don't know. It's trying to be something it's not. like. These are not... Oh, wait. Go up like... in a second. I want to see something. What's that black one with the yellow? This one right here? Yeah. I'll pull it up. It's just a different color? I also don't like the four o'clock crown. That's 44 mil. But you know what I don't like? It doesn't make sense because they're like over-engineered tool watches in a in a time where nobody uses watches as tool watches. Does that make sense? Try it's to like find a discount on this. Huh? Yeah, it's <laughs> right. You 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 find a discount on Zen actually, I think. Very little. Really? You're getting it at a good price point to begin with, though. I mean, that's yeah. kind of why. I think you know, no, actually. nobody's really priced out of this if they want one. You know, right? Like a thousand bucks. You know, I mean, yeah. Rooted Rotor hits the nail on the head. He says, "Who is paying these crazy prices? Sucks for the hobby." It's true. Uh, it won't He's last right. forever. He's I don't right. think it lasts forever. No way. Not for just, every brand, that's for sure. Yeah, it, it just no. But not even forget all that. I think there's just no way it ever lasts. Even in the short term, three months, yeah. six more months of this. I mean, this is smoke and mirrors, in my opinion. Smoke and mirrors. Okay. We spent another almost half hour on the sub. Let's go to the last, but certainly not least, the GMT. I tried to do some like innovative picks. So I didn't pick mm. like the Grand SBGM221. We always pick. I don't think so. Yeah, I think I picked a different one. This is what I got another Grand Seiko GMT. I think this one is pretty nice. Luminor GMT. I like that one. That's the one I recommended to Bob NYC. The Tudor Pepsi, obviously, you got to have that one in. The LUC Chopard GMT. Oris Aquas GMT. The Reverso, because that is a GMT, to be fair, if you get the dual face. Mm -hmm. I like that tag warrior, too. I do, too. I'm, I'm happy you, know, you have one. On, I'm happy you have one on the list, by the way. I, you know, I, I almost have... bought that tag warrior instead of the pizzas. I probably should have bought that. You definitely should have. Not probably. <laughs> yeah, I 100% should have bought that. It's a much that. better watch. Yeah. I think the nicest out. one on here by far is the Omega. Okay. The Planet Ocean GMT? It's nice, but it's, again, the problem is 43 mil. It's a big, thick watch. Yeah. Like, I don't... Eh, never mind. That's out. Yeah, How big is the tag? I just don't like the 12 and the 6. That's the only thing I don't really like about the it's tag. It's 40 mil. 40 mil. Which the tag? Yeah, I'm pretty mm -hmm. sure it's 40 mil. Right. Yeah, I agree. GMT is very tough. There's not that many great options for the GMT. This is about Oris as good as it gets. Too, too, right? Say that again? Oris is big too, right? Yeah, it's a 43 mil. But you should have picked the Grand Seiko with a, with a bezel. They have them with the bezel. I, I hate, you know what? For me, and again, I. It's the tag. Fair enough. I really like the tag. Ari's becoming a tag man. By the end. No, I have a tag. I have a tag. But, uh, you know, I, I haven't bought a lot of, the, lot of that. But, I mean, the tag for GMT is really nice. I think these are terrible, JJ. <coughs> I'm bringing up the worst one, too. Oh, no, like the purpose. one Birminghard has. Not this one. Oh, you're talking about. Oh, okay. Yes, the quartz one, this one right here. Well, they, they don't make that an automatic, too? No, they don't. I'm pretty sure they don't. Ed style? 
That's not nice this one with the 24-hour bezel. Yeah, they don't make it with the 24-hour bezel. Yeah, this that's, is only for the core. That's the nicest design, I think. Out of all the I, I totally agree. All the sport GMVs, anyway. If they did this in like the spring drive or high beat movement, I think this would be killer watch. Yeah. Killer watch. Rooted Rotor said, I wish they did that Tudor Pepsi and a Black Bay case. I'd be all, yeah, 100%. Yeah, the Black Bay 58 That case. is a good idea. That is a 58 good idea. case, yeah, that would be good. Grandma Project tuned. Possible. Actually, I think this was the one Ali was talking to us about, right? The Project Possible? I think he actually owned this. Yeah, I think, didn't he just buy this recently? Yes, I think he just he bought this, this actually. Oh, yeah, yeah, he just yeah, bought yeah, this. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yep. I'm almost certain Ali just bought this. Is the Project Possible? Project Possible is the guy who went to like 12 mountains and scaled all of them or something like that. Mm -hmm. I, I can't that shit. remember. This is nice. This is, yeah. I mean, the is font is nice. The proportions cool. are nice. Like, it's just a very sleek watch in this style where dive watches aren't known to be sleek in my mind. Beyond you know what's a nice like travel watch, too? Um, uh, from Grand Seiko, the SBGJ201. I'll pull it up. It's like very clean. It's like if you use it for business. Is, you that, a, is that a purple dial and a purple bezel? Yeah. Wow. Bezel's purple, too. I thought it was black, the bezel. It looks navy, isn't it? Navy. Navy. Yeah, it's navy. Same, yeah, it's navy. navy. It's navy. It's blue. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah. the reflection blue. of the light. Yeah. Oh, that's so different. Look at that picture compared to the still. This yeah. is. Mm -hmm. This is actually really nice. Like it was a purple. Strap. That's. that's yeah, it looks cool with that olive green strap. Yeah. Like that. It's nice. Yeah. I just want to yeah, say that, thank that you that so blue much for that watching yellow. your with a five dollar yeah. super chat saying killing it tonight great show thank yeah. you very much thanks, Roy. yeah thanks Roy. i'm thanks, liking Roy. these when we do the presentations we give some alternative stuff like this yeah of course i think i think it's great it is a lot of fun uh, that's why they got to check out your channel check out my channel <laughs> <laughs> oh marco sbgm 247 check that out S this is the sbgj 201 two yeah this is nice right like if you were going to do business travel you could wear this yeah all right that well, check out check out the SBGM two four seven. That's Pull automatic. It, it looks like burbs, but it's automatic. Yeah, but it's got a four o'clock crown and that fucking four four o'clock yeah. date. It's ugly. I, I wouldn't With even this, wear it. I wouldn't this is even a wear vomit it. green yeah. dial. What is this? I wouldn't, wear, I wouldn't uh, wear this to a or destination two wedding. The blue like one is the nice. One that Ali bought actually. That one's pretty cool. Actually, now that I saw the, I wasn't a big fan. I didn't want to tell him, but now that, now that I saw the picture, that actually looked be in the club, Marco. Be in the club, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Beyond time says the show part, Mili Miglia. Yeah, these are not bad actually. Show part, Mili. There's another one from Tag Heuer that I like. That is also Chronograph GMT. These are not bad. I tend to agree, Burb. These are pretty nice. Or, Not all of them. I think these are pretty. Uh, these are pretty hideous. But the blacked out ones. The are blacked nice. out one is nice. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. Not all of them. I think <clears throat> it is a little bad. busy, but it's nice. Like yeah, it. that's. There's a lot going on there on that dial. I love the strap. I think this is another great option. The Tag Heuer two four four six. Yeah, you've talked about this before. I think this is. People hate on this, right? Sorry, it's got to be. This is the original bezel. People hate on this. This has a value movement, a manual wind value movement, chronograph, and GMT. This is absolutely gorgeous. What and year not, that expensive. not that expensive. Um, uh, gorgeous is a strong statement. What, what don't you like about it? Mm, a lot. Well, I count look, nine look, different colors that on bezel it. Pops. <laughs> it pops. Come on, man. There's too much it going feels... on in this watch. It's, it's <laughs> intermixing functions. Mm -hmm. The colors, the lines <laughs> on the, the bezel. So I mean, you yeah, know, yeah. I could see that somebody, you know what? I could see this being a very specific collector loving this watch. Yeah. Like you, Cap. You could love this watch. Yeah. Except <laughs> I'm not that guy. It feels it feels <laughs> like a thing. bunch of uh, construction paper brought together in different colors to create a watch. That's what this looks like. It looks like your kid went to school and drew a picture of your dad's GMT. Basically. <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a better explanation. Yes. We got Lone Star Watch Enthusiast saying there's a special place in hell for the four o'clock date. I honestly, four o'clock, four thirty. Uh, what else is there? Uh, uh, super chat. I've seen, I've seen, actually, I like 12 o'clock dates, like a big date, you know, near 12 o'clock. Yeah. Mode, that's I like six the best, I think, or three. 
We got Gentleman's Hangout Podcast with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much, JD. You don't have to do this. Saying, show some love to your boy who actually gives you watch content on his live stream. Not cry about how hard. How hard. It's hard. hard. It's it's so, so hard. hard his life is. It's Check out my so channel. Hard. Check out my channel. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate that. That's very kind of you. Oh, I'm getting flamed in the chat. JJ, save me. Rooted Rotors calls this a clown watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, last time somebody said I had a clown watch, I got rid of it. I didn't even sell it, actually. I gave it away. <laughs> Rooted Rotors should change his name to Truth Teller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. What are you going to do? Beyond Time says the Mont Blanc Time. I actually, I don't know if I've seen this Mont Blanc. Yeah. Time. Okay. Ooh, these, yeah, I've seen these before. These are hideous. No. Oh, but this is a this is a chronograph. These ones are not bad, but the the old version, these ones right here. This is the GMT. No, go go up. The one I was talking about is uh, no over second. Yeah, I'll show you. What kind of movement is in these? Uh, Probably movements. at a at a base movement. Maybe Salida. I like the big date though. I do, yeah, the big date, like twelve o'clock big date, six o'clock big date. I don't mind either. Those are okay. Marco, yeah. The one in the private chat is the one I was talking about. Okay. Doug <laughs> Jewer has a Carrera GMT. The black dial. Sorry, but this is not much better. Hey, you can have really it with your pen. I'm trying. I'm trying. You can have it with your pen. Yeah, it matches your pen. You yeah. know what? I'll do. I'll, I'll pass. Pen. I'll, I will strongly pass. Thank you, sure. Carrera. Gold Star Watch Enthusiast. That's right, guys. If you don't have a PRX, you are not a collector. You're simply an enthusiast saying it's hard, man. I get it. Yeah, 100%. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, Lone Star said, I "Omega Seamaster, the blue one with the blue dial and blue um, sailcloth, has a little bit of orange. That's a nice GMT." I know. I think I know which one you're talking about. Are you talking about these one right yep. here? Nope. To the left, that one. Oh, this that one right one. here. Yeah, yep. but these are huge. These are like. They're huge. Wait, what's huge going on with this image? Are they only selling the case? Like, what, what's happening here? No, there's a there's a strap on it. I forget. Okay, what it is. it's yeah, a they, sailcloth they, strap. Yeah, or a bracelet. You can get rubber too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's yeah. like an integrated rubber. And the Omega yeah. rubber is really, it's really nice. It fits really well on this. Yeah, these are huge. So I uh, like these too. Oh, right, well, that's a nice one also. Well. Say again. I, this is my favorite though. The gray white. <laughs> I said, you said the rubber fits really well. I, I did. I did. <laughs> I'll, I'll own it. I'll own it. It's fine. Must be a magnum. Let's see. It's, Rooted it's Rotor true. says double juice. XL. <laughs> Let's see if they do a GMT. Ooh, yeah, no, these are terrible. No, these are not terrible. Those are nice. What do you mean? Go back. These are atrocious. You'd like this? Yeah, I like when you turn um when you turn the Oh wait, is this the one? The when inner turn, bezel. The horn. When you turn the oh, horn. When you turn it. When you turn the horn. The turn, horn. turn the trucker steering wheel. Steering wheel. No, it's, yeah. it's the horn. What's you the know? one when you turn it? It turns red. The JLC. Uh, that's not this one. Oh yeah, but that's a different one. It's the, you're talking about the deep sea chronograph. Is that the one I'm thinking of? When you turn. Yeah, thinking, this is a great watch. I love this watch. You know who has this? this is our buddy uh, Yellow Raincoat. I believe it's Yellow Raincoat. I might be wrong. This is a gorgeous oh, watch. This one, this. when you turn the, when you turn the, uh... yeah, when you start the chrono, it turns red. No, 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 not that. When you turn the actual uh, uh, pusher, it turns red to show that it's locked. Huh. Interesting. I think I it was on the idea. one that you had. Maybe no. Not. Maybe These it's one that looks like this. This is another oh, bad one. Oh my god. <laughs> These are terrible. You ever see the one that? Uh, Nico had an accident with a JLC Navy seal on. Those are horrible too. Oh my god! But these are just divers. I think. These oh, are that's, so that's what I'm thinking of. That that's the one when you turn the when you turn Dude, the crown. These are so red. hideous, in my opinion. It's white on the if it's it's something like white is all right and red you're dead because like you know if you if you the water right. can get in it or something like that. What else? Oh, did they have? McLovin said Amazon up forty percent, fourteen percent. That's right. Snapchat. That's right. Make love it. Yes, baby. Thank you very much, Amazon. Listen, all I need for them is to split their stock. That's all they need. 
I need an yeah, Amazon okay. stock split. They're not going to split until the stock so, goes up. So that explains it. When you guys were saying before that, just adjusting my volume, that Amazon was up 14%. That's after hours. It's It was down 78 during the during the uh, trading day. Yep. We got a $5 super chat from Omar. Thank you very much, Omar. The Still a very nice legend. move. I'm at break super even. Legend. I have an Omega Planet Ocean, and it's simply too thick to wear consistently. Yeah, I agree with you. That is a huge problem, in my opinion. Huge problem. This is a nice watch, actually, from IWC. That is a GMT. And what's cool is yeah, if you really rotate nice. the bezel, nice. it actually adjusts the hour hand through the bezel rotation. What is this called? The time zoner? Yeah, the time zoner, I'm pretty sure, right? A stupid name. It's a nice watch. Yeah, terrible, terrible. Terrible. Time zoner. But yeah, JLC has no sports... GMTs. I love. We should do a segment called, like, how watch brands fuck up their watches. Like, you make this really cool watch. They got all the way to the end. Everything's cool, even like the big crown, uh, the the right. onion uh, crown. Everything came out cool. Then, like, all right, this is great. What are we gonna name this? The time zoner. <laughs> oh, it's owner. You're so close. You don't it. Almost it's pilot watch. The O zoner. <laughs> yeah, the date is a little stupid too. They could have just put. Why do you gotta show three dates? I don't need three dates. I need one date. Yeah, it's a, on there's, some, there's a nice symmetry there, actually. Like when you have it, like it's there's a neat no, symmetry. I can see that. That's a GMT. That's a GMT. Yeah. Oh, that's right, GMT. Right, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Right, that's right. Oh, all right. I take it back. No, I like it. Again. GMT. Tag Joe Carrera makes a GMT. Oh yeah. Good times. I like this. This is nice. That's a nice Aura's GMT. Actually, yeah. How much is how much is that? That is nice. Like really nice, actually. I could totally see myself wearing something like that. It's like what an IWC. Like, what do you guys like about this? Just the the colors, how they match, the, the little hint of red. It's just really. <laughs> oh come on, Marco. Come on, Marco. <laughs> it's a good looking one. I'm sorry. I'll make me remind you of the review. I'm sorry, it's not a corn de vache. I'm sorry. It looks I'm nice sorry. The wrist. The wrist I'm sorry. I don't like let's this let's, let's Marco, check if it's properly guilloshed and yeah. <laughs> pull up the wrist. Pull up the wrist shot. Fuck sakes. I think it looks nice. Looks like I like the best Yeah, yeah. It's got a little cool. I really like it myself. I really like it. Yeah, yeah. I heard it's got a slight case back. <laughs> or Coke de Genève on the movement. <laughs> it's a time boner. <laughs> Where's the prolage? Should you see yourself wearing a PRX? <laughs> oh, God, stop. <laughs> got finger bridges. The PRX GMT. Yeah. The PRX GMT. Jesus Christ. Fired Actually, blue screws. I think the tag lawyer career you're talking about, it's not a GMT, isn't it? A dual time? Uh, hold on. You're talking about dual time? Dual time. I think it is a dual time, right? This one right here. Yeah, these are the dual. Time. These are actually not bad, to be honest. The twin time, twin time, twin time. So can I ask what's the difference in between a twin time and a GMT? Uh, you can only time. I think it's two time zones, right, as opposed to three, or what is it? Uh, I think that's what it is, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, if it has the bezel. I might be yeah. incorrect, though. I might be incorrect. But I yeah, think that's I right. With all dual times, travel times, they don't they don't call them GMTs because yeah, there's no rotating bezel or ability to to yeah. set it to that third time zone. Oh my god, that time zoner! I just looked it up. Is forty six mil? Get lost. Are you kidding? So they're basically putting it in a big pilot case. Nice size. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. I'm IWC. Oh my goodness. I mean, can you just imagine the wrist presence? Look at this. Look at it on the guy's wrist. That's 46. Oh, wow. Smokes. That's like a nuclear weapon. That's not a weapon. <laughs> I'm wearing I mean, 47 millimeters. Look at the, look at the girth of this thing. Oh, look at that man. girth. Yeah, oh my that goodness. A WMD. Jesus. Yeah, right. <laughs> By the way, thank you, Lone Star Watch Enthusiast, for the $5 super chat. Yeah, I'm going to pull up the, the link. I mean, guys, it is Marco's birthday. You know, make sure you super chat. <laughs> Let's not get into all that. I actually didn't even know this. Uh, I didn't even know this existed. Look at this. If they shrink it down to oh 40. Oh my God, it's so big. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> it sounds like, oh my God, that sounds terrible. No, it was good. Yeah. No, it's cool. I don't know. That's way too big. It's way, way too it's big. It's a cool yeah, watch. It's just too big. 
Yeah. We gave, Sorry, the, we, we, gave the, we gave the wizard a lot of good ideas tonight. Yeah. 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 It would still be a seven boys. Forty-seven. Oh, Jesus Christ! Wow. Not too big. It's perfect. Wow. Forty-seven. That would still be a chiclet on Ali's uh, wrist, probably. Right. Ali yeah. would be like probably, that. yeah. Yeah, it would be like a, it's yeah. small. It's small. It's small. But yeah. I think I think that's about it. I don't know if there's many. There's just not many GMTs out there. That's why it's the best. Yeah, one how about the? Uh, I know you're gonna cringe, but Maurice Lacroix. Or I give GMT. you a really good watch that used to make <laughs> movement. Hey, I give you a company that used to make movements for Vacheron that you don't know. Armand Nicolette. Look oh, it you up. You know what? I'll pull that one up. Hold on. I'll, I'll pull up the Maurice. There Lacroix. you see. So you didn't offend him on that one. You didn't offend the master. Yeah, because I mentioned that. VC. That's why. <laughs> I would pull up both. No worries. He's a snob. Ooh, He's a snob. Uh, Listen, I'm a snob, and I'm proud to say it. What can I say? Yeah, yeah. you want me to review the, your review? <laughs> Don't let me go there. <laughs> the Timex Expedition. I love it. It's a great watch. <laughs> yeah, big <Make> watch. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> you guys want me to flame these people's <laughs> uh, No, but Marco, look up Armand Nicolette. Okay. Company that used to make movements. For Vacheron Constantin. I'm telling you, they're 44 mil, which way too big for you guys, but it's a gorgeous watch. It's oh, okay, there we go. Where's, pull up the Timex, you Fiker. Pull up the Timex. <laughs> I, I'm uh, sorry, I don't like this at all. Well, you you can go with different colors. They have different bezels. They have all. They have Pepsi. They have you Batman. Know. They have White dials, black dials. I don't love. I don't love how how dominating the sticks are. You know. Yeah, I don't love. I don't love that. That's probably my only my problem. And the and again, the logo is giving me uh, <coughs> Parmigiani vibes. Yeah. Uh, no, it's there's the no Carney Sanders. Time, guys. Really time. Yeah, for sure. But we tried to keep it like relatively. Uh, yeah. yeah, not I wouldn't say affordable, but attainable rather is probably a better word for it. It's funny though. We, we well, think about some it. Of the lower end ones. In price right now, right? Say a that dual again. Time, a dual time is what thirty. A Pepsi is what twenty nine. <laughs> I mean, they're pretty close. No, a dual time is more than thirty. If you, yeah, if you compare yeah. one at retail and then the other at oh yeah gray market. Brian says Longines Conquest. Yeah, I got to. Yeah, up. but we are pulling up. You know. Lower, uh, lower priced watches, but we're not yeah, pulling the swatch, the higher ones. Oh, You're this is get a better nice. watch for the price. Nice you know watch. What? I actually do. Let's like go to swatch. I'd like to see one. I do I'm actually like this. I like this. I do really like this. Nice. That is very nice. Slim, sleek profile watch. And it's just, very yeah, nice. it's just very tasteful. Yeah. yeah. You wore casual and wore dress up too. I love it. Yeah, no, I think this is actually nice. And I don't say this very often about Longines. <laughs> I think Longines has some nice stuff, though. They do have nice stuff, but they have Show a lot of Show the wrist clunkers. shot, Marco. They have a lot of clunkers, unfortunately. Oh, they they one. That wrist shot, yeah. That looks nice. Oh, a blog to watch. God, why do they always fuck up the images? They blur their images. Because they want you to go to the site. Oh, I yeah. actually I actually do think that um, the master dial collector, Kevin O'Leary, has one of these. Interestingly enough. Does he have it on a red band? He does, <laughs> yes. He does. And it doesn't look good. But nice his list. choice. <clears throat> but then again, that's Mr. Wonderful. He's a billionaire. He can wear whatever the hell he wants. Yeah, exactly. He'll do him. Hmm. Interesting. Too bad Timex doesn't make a GMT for you, Marco. I, know, I, feel, I, wish... I feel for you. Oh, the Timex makes the uh, what is it? The Q? What is it? Oh yeah, the Timex Q GMT, isn't it? Oh, there you go. There you go. Well, there I don't think go. that's You're actually a GMT brand. though. I don't think it's a GMT. It's not a GMT. No, it's not a GMT. Just looks like one. They make one with <laughs> yeah, a snoop like dial like for three hundred dollars instead of the sixty dollar watch. Apparently, this bracelet is like one of the worst things ever made. Yeah, it's worse than the spider. Oh, it's really bad. It's really yeah. bad. It catches hairs constantly. I have this. It's like the bracelet's on. So does uh, what's his name? Uh, Austin Daniels. Yeah. <laughs> like it's a fun. It's a fun knockaround, but like yeah, the bracelet constantly catches arm hair. 
But yeah, that's the list, guys. I mean, I don't know what other GMs. I don't think there's really much else, to be honest with you. I think we're scraping at the bottom of the barrel. But yeah, it's been fun to look these up. I mean, I guess we can probably go down the line. Probably do did did Cardi? Did did Cardi? Um, someone asked Cardi- me, Chad, does Cardi make a GMT? Oh. No. Well, <clears throat> that's actually they don't make one now. But the GMT that they Cardi used I to. used for the drive, they made yeah. a GMT, and it was super fucking weird. It was like. It was, it was twelve hour display only. I can't remember the reference on it. But they just you had to like it so fast. Yeah, it's like you had to pr- press on the crown yeah. in order for it to. It's super weird. Yep. Like, what is this? This is not a power reserve indicator. That's like no. Your dual it's a twelve no, that's hour indicator. Hour. Yeah, that's your twelve. It was ridiculous. Oh my god. So so the black circle here on the right oh, that's so meant so to cool. indicate day or night. And then you have your 12 hour indicator for the second time zone yep. up around like 10 oh, that's, o'clock. That's and then you have a running wow. sub second, or excuse me, seconds at. You have a big date. And big date at noon, right. As this much as I love the drive, the I hate this model. Oh, look at this. Lone Star saying my VC bracelet catches Harris constantly. Yeah, that's. I mean, it sucks, but. It's a gorgeous watch. Let's be. I mean, change your vaginas, fellas. Listen, it hurts. It hurts the wallet and the wrist. It hurts the wallet and the wrist. Agree. Full on John says not a GMT. Go ahead. Just remember how much you paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> not GMT, but Aquatire World Timer. Yeah, hundred percent. That's a great watch too. Glowmaster is better than Datejust. Hundred percent agree. Uh, Logan Hall says I own the Q and literally all my arm hair was removed. Bought an aftermarket jewelry. Hundred percent better. Oh, Rangers fan, Invicta GMT. Oof, that's a tough one. Hard sell for me. Hard sell. But yeah, this has been fun, guys. It's, it's been true. fun hanging. I think it's been yeah. a fun topic. Fun topic. Yeah, I want to do this again. Date just, Oyster Perpetuals. What else can we do? Explore 2 is kind of a GMT alternative, so there's not much out there. What else? Can we Cellini. Do? <laughs> I mean, Cellini is just not even worth it. <laughs> nice. Just get Breguet. Breguet for like less less yeah. money. <laughs> so what's you know the what three-piece I... collection between the sub, GMT, and chronograph? Which one would you go with in each category? Oh, that's it. Well, let me pull it up. You Why don't we what? do that? Just Let's to finish this, just to finish this up. up. I like Let's that. Pull. Right? Pull them up, we went through all this, but just the ones we have, not the ones go we went the you know, off the board on. Here we go. All right, Cap, I'm putting you on the hot seat. Go ahead. I go first? Yes. All right, so I'm taking the Tokyo 2020 Speedmaster. <laughs> no surprise <laughs> there. Stop. Stop. Um, I'm going to you know go what? Hold on. Can I just say yes, this? Sir. Can I just say this? Mm-hmm. You have to do one watch per brand, so you can't pick that same brand twice. Okay. Ooh. How's well, that? that? That's that's fine by me. Okay. That Go works. Ahead. I am not picking the Black Bear Fifty Eight, though I own it. So I'm I'm not I'm being objective. Okay. I am not picking the Breguet because you reminded me of the lugs, but I do appreciate it as and appreciate APR. You covered his name, APRX, for pointing this out. I think it's a great value for money. Value for money. I'm picking the Lum- Luminor. Oh, nice. The Panerai, Pam. And before I get to the Super Chat, last but certainly not least. Last but certainly not least, uh, we are in the GMT category. The GMT. Um, Can't pick another Pam. So on this one, I will take uh, this. See, this is a cop-out because I own this too. The Tudor GMT. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm not going to take that. I'll take the JLC. Reverso. Reverso. Nice. Take the JLC reverse oak. So Lone Star Watch enthusiast with a two dollars super chat saying Milgaus alternatives. I mean, Ingenieur, <laughs> Railmaster. Yeah, you got them in chat. Railmaster, Ingenieur. What else do you have? Did he um, just answer his own question? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> there's, there's literally pretty much every Omega it, or modern coaxial movement Omega is actually like a Milgaus alternative because it's braided up to fifteen thousand Gauss, right? Um. So yeah, pretty much any Omega, the Ingenieur is another one. And yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. I don't, I don't know that there's that many, to be honest with you. That's a good question. Not many people cover Milgauss alternatives. I guess just not that. Never been that popular of a watch. More of like a cult classic, if you will. 
You know, Seiko makes them no gauss. Seiko, interesting. Yeah. Alrighty, Uncle Stefano, what are we taking? Chronograph. Oh. Um. Brightling. For okay. sure. I know you. You got the Brightling. Hold on. You're gonna pick. Ooh, this is actually a tough one. I don't know which one you're. The pan. The pan. The pan. <laughs> yes. Come on, it's not that tough. And then last but not least. Oh, you can't pick the Pam again. The no, no. Omega. The Planet Ocean. Uh, actually, I prefer the Oris. Ooh, I, I, you know what? I agree. I do prefer the Oris, and it's much cheaper. Yeah. I do prefer it. All righty, who's next? We got Brian from Beyond Time. Go ahead. Panda Tutor. Oh, I like it. Uh, oh, boy. Oh man! Uh, yeah, his heart is for Rolex right it's, now. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like sorry, called it. Uh, do, 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 do. No, I was gonna say the. Uh, it's oh, true. Man, it's between the Omega and the Breitling. Uh, the Omega three hundred. I'll take that. Okay. And I'll take the Reverso. Nice. All right. Who's next? J J Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go with. Can we start from uh, the other way around? I want to start from GMT and work my way back. Okay. Did you switch? Uh, actually, no. Never mind. I'm gonna do it like everybody else. Okay. I will take the Omega. Nice. I'll take the – I don't want that Panerai. I'll take the uh, Submersible 63. Okay. For my diver. And I will take the Tudor GMT as my GMT. Nice. Next is APRX. Okay. I'm. Uh, can I cheat here a little bit? I'd like the Zenith but in the black dial. No. You can't have that. <laughs> <Fuck. laughs> All right. Fine. I'll just, I'll just go with the – the thing is, I, I just I really do like Zenith, you know, and I know that it looks too much like a Daytona, but in this realm, I would still choose the Zenith. The Corona Master Sport? The Corona Master Sport, right. Nice. Yep. Uh, Bragg A5817. I have nice. to. I love that piece. Um, here, I'd probably choose the Panerai. It's a little, it's a little bit different, and uh, it's, uh, I don't know, it's just a little, a little quirky. I like that GMT. It's got that nice dial too, that really nice texture on that dial. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. You don't see it in this picture, but it really does have I should pull it up. Hold on. I know what you one. mean, like because I've seen this watch in person. That's why I'm the saying texture it, is it's gorgeous. really nice. Yep. Yeah. Hold on one second. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The only critique I have of this is it's a sausage dial as opposed to a sandwich dial, but that's it. True, and it's right. very small. Yeah. Very True. small. Sandwich critique. dial would be one hundred ten percent better. Just a small critique. Only thing yeah. I can critique on this. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, no, that's that's a nice watch. All right, we got last but not least is Ari. Actually, I'm last, but who's counting? Go ahead. All right, so I would pick the Breitling. Nice. I would pick here. I would do the. Uh, I would do the Omega. Nice. Which uh, this one right here, right? Yeah, one here. Yeah, top left. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, uh, the uh, tag. Nice. That's a nice three piece. Thank you. Uh, I will go the CK two nine nine eight Panda. I will go the Tudor Black Bay fifty eight, and I will go the LUC Showpart. I'll go with the Showpart. Showpart GMT. That's my pick. There we go. I like this. This was a fun exercise. It was. Should we get into what your watch says about you again? The Nautilus, 5711. What does it say? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun too, to be fair. That was You're fun. a Swiss banker because it's required to, uh, to own Swiss banker. One. Yeah, that's what Swiss was saying. Apparently, all the Swiss yeah. bankers wear a Nautilus. I <laughs> guess it's, a, it's their uh, – You said Nautilus or a Daytona? He said they have to wear a Nautilus. Yeah, you know what it is? It's their bonus for hiding all that money offshore. Of course. That's right. <laughs> Dude, How do you think they can they can afford to make all, that, a make all that cheese? 
Go ahead, JJ. Say it again. Oh, were you going to say something? No. no. Oh, sorry. I thought you asked yeah. me something. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't hear anything. It's true, man. Michael, you have a good night, man. Thanks so much for joining. I'm going to wrap this up in about five minutes. Go for an hour and a half and uh, wrap this puppy up. Any final statements? Uh, Any final Are we statements? going to say happy birthday to your buddy Artem? Artem? Uh, I don't think we're going <laughs> to I'll pass on that. No thanks, man. Hey, happy birthday. If you're watching, there you go. Happy, happy. birthday. Happy you know, birthday. You know, happy he's birthday, man. I dream, not, not uh, your other buddy. It's cool, man. It's all cool. They're trying uh, to raise money for him to buy a Speedy. I have a Speedy for sale if he's interested. I hope he Yeah, but it. he's not going to reach 80,000. He's not going to get 80,000 like our boy. I, I, hope, I hope he gets it. There you go. How's that? How I will hand, that? Del- I'll hand deliver mine if you'd like. I have yeah, for <laughs> Can I go along with you, JJ? <laughs> yeah, but I think what it was, Ran- Rancher has a, what, a... Th- uh, Yes, a vintage. 861. A 322 ride. Yeah. I'll fall right behind you. But yeah, JJ, yeah, vintage vintage are very expensive. Did it say 3 to 1? I thought it was an 861. I'm pretty sure it's a 320. Okay. What's very expensive? Uh... A dentist, because he's going to sue you for the teeth <laughs> you're going to knock out. Stop no, no, no. It. I'm, ser- no I'm seriously selling it. It's for sale. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to attack yeah, you. Yeah, he I know, man. Dentist. I'm just joking. I just want to sell my watch, man. Sapphire sandwich or Hesselite? I always say get the Sapphire sandwich on Speedy. No? Which, one yeah. you, which one do you have, JJ? Yeah, Sapphire. Have has a nice Wait, it's so much fun. I mean, it's not. It's worth the premium. In my, why wouldn't you? Eight six one. You get that beautiful display case back. It's so much nicer. It's well worth. It's not just that. You also don't have to poly watch the crystal every couple Plus of months. It's, it's a far enough departure from the original that you don't need the Hesselite. Right. If it was an eighteen sixty one, I would say get Hesselite, but. Right. 3861, I get the Sapphire sandwich. Yeah. I mean, the 3 to 1 is obviously ideal, but in a market where that trades for big money, like Boku money, ugh, no thanks. Better, better size, too. Yeah, no. But, guys, on that note, I'm going to wrap this puppy up. Thank you guys for joining me. we got the Captain, the Wizard, APRX, JJ, Brian, and REG. Thanks so much for joining. And, of course, guys, as usual, you know you got to – where are your watches? Quick wristwatch check. We didn't even do this. I'm going no, to list it. The Bruce Wayne. We got the Paddock 6006. The Pan. <laughs> APRX got the cat picking his ear. Nice. That's a good one. <laughs> That's one for the ages. Always a classic. We got Brian wearing <laughs> PRX. And we got Ari with the Seamaster. Very That's nice, a, guys. That was, that was a sound check. <laughs> <laughs> Brutus Roder says, I got the Sapphire Sandwich, old one, nice. 1863. You know what's funny, right? Tim Mosso said that the finish of the 1863 is better than the three. Better than the new one, yeah. I didn't I don't know. I don't I don't I don't know if I agree, but hey. Marco, before oh, you go real oh, quick, now you Andres know had a, what a really nice comment. He said, uh Yeah, he said you guys it. have so much class. Yeah. This is why I'm, yeah, I mean listen, it, it it's I mean I, I don't believe follow them anymore so it's not i'm not looking i don't have any beef with them it's cool man it's all cool (laughs) have a good one guys thanks so much